Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about going to training. So, I am going to One Shepherd uh, Training Institute, One Shepherd, I don't know what it's called, One Shepherd. I'm going to One Shepherd, and uh, I'm going to be there for about a week for their semester of training. If you're not familiar with One Shepherd, it's basically like an infantry training school for anybody who wants to go and they run semesters in like seven day rotations and you're welcome to show up and, and train. And so this is kind of all the gear that I will be bringing. So I was doing a last check on all my gear to make sure I got everything and I thought I, sh I should make maybe a little loadout video here. I'll try to keep this short, we'll see how long it goes. But I wanted to double check everything that uh, I'm bringing. I already have some notes of stuff that I'm missing and I thought I would just go through and share with you what I'm bringing. Now, I've never been to One Shepherd before, so take this with a grain of salt. This is just, I'm building this list based off of their pack list, and then some other stuff that I thought would be good to throw in there. So, here we go. So I realize you can't see everything on the table, but I will try to pull stuff into frame appropriately as we move through. So first up, uh, you gotta have a rifle. So I am going to bring this rifle. Now they have their own rules about bringing your own rifle or not. So I'm not even sure if I'll get to use this. At the very least, I will take off the uh, optic I have up here and just throw that on one of their rifles if I can. But this is just my green 20 inch AR uh, with a three times magnifier optic up top. And that seemed like a good idea if I'm gonna be out in the field doing stuff. So. That's why I chose that. We'll see, this one has a white light on it because uh, you need to have white light on your gun. But that's the rifle I'm hoping to bring and I'm hoping to use with their Miles uh, system. Basically, you shoot blanks at each other and a computer system registers whether or not you hit. Uh, hoping to have this converted and use it. If I can't, I just have to use one of their rifles, then at the very least, hopefully I can throw the optic on and I think they let you zero it. So that's my plan for the pew pews. Next up, uniform stuff. So, uh, basically, you know, you have to have two uniforms, one in woodland uh, camo and one in just kind of olive drab green. So, I have that. I have a rigger's belt for either uniform, doesn't matter which. Then I have all of my olive drab green. Uh, I have two sets of uniforms packed up in here along with a green boonie hat. Again, two sets of uniforms in woodland. I don't have my boonie hat in here right now, it's on my list of things I need to add in here, but I do have a woodland boonie hat as well. Olive drab t-shirts and socks. Uh, I don't have specific olive drab underwear, but I'll just put some normal underwear in there. Continuing along with uniform stuff. So I have a woodland parka. This is a Rothko jacket. Uh, it's not like the M65, you know, army jacket if you're familiar with that, but it's a, you know, so keep some rain off you. These are good, I'll probably do a review on these at some point, but I got one in the woodland, and then I also have one in olive drab. I also have the poncho, so I have a woodland poncho, and then an olive drab poncho. Okay, so to support the rifle, uh, I built a webbing deal. Um, with this one, I went more with the British style loadout, so uh, you can wear a pistol uh, if you've been there before. I decided I'm not gonna wear a pistol this time around. Uh, maybe I will do that next time around, but uh, basically they allow you to carry a pistol in condition two, um, a real live pistol with real live bullets in case you're faced with wilderness animals. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to do that this time around, uh, but maybe next time I go I'll, I will incorporate that. So with that in mind, I built a belt system. Uh, I just have a three liter pack, three liter water on the back here. On the front, I have some paste counter beads. I have one double AR mag, and then I have four utility pouches all along the back of it. Uh, knife, I put a dump pouch on here in case I end up needing that, otherwise hopefully that'll just stay rolled up. And then two more double AR pouches, so I have a total of six AR mags on this belt. I didn't put them all on this side because I thought that would get a little heavy. We'll see how that works out in real life. But webbing kit and system, pretty basic. I just have these four big pouches on there because I figure I'll stuff, one of them will be in my IFAC. I'll stuff some other miscellaneous gear items that I get issued in them. Uh, right now I have my compass in one of them, so that'll be important, lens static compass. So that's basically my web gear loadout. 
Okay, moving on to my pack. So I just have an Alice pack because I bought this, I don't know how many years ago now, but a long time ago. So this is an Alice pack large. Uh, this is not the medium, this is the large. And this is what I'm planning on running for my ruck while I'm at one shepherd. So if you're not familiar with the Alice pack, there's a ton of videos on it. Also, you've probably been living under a rock for the last 60 years, but the Alice pack. In the Alice pack right now, I have just a one and a half liter bladder up top in that radio pouch that I fed out there. And then attached to the bottom, I have a uh, self-inflating sleeping mat. Not sure how that'll work or not work. Uh, I've tried it out just for like five minutes just to see and it seems moderately comfortable. Could suck, I have no idea, we'll find out. In the pack, I'm gonna end up having, I have two waterproof bags, the GI kind of waterproof bags, to put all my various stuff. So I'll have the two water bottles, because you have to have two, at least two liters of water on the pack. So I have that here, plus I have the bladder, so I'll have a little bit more. Inside one of my canteens, I have a canteen cup. The lid for my canteen cup, because you need that sometimes. Sleeping bag. This is just a Recon 3 sleeping bag. It's supposedly good down to 23 degrees Fahrenheit. I also have a Military Sleep Systems Vivi bag. This is the Gore-Tex uh, Military Surplus Vivi bag. And you can sleep inside that. Uh, honestly, I have a hard time seeing how many both of these items in Missouri in the first week of June. I'm from Minnesota. I, I just don't think it's going to be a problem. But if it gets cold, I will be toasting one. I also have this other emergency bivy. I'm probably not going to use this or need this, but I bought this first before I bought the military systems one. So I'll hold on to this and just keep it uh, in my bin in case for whatever reason I need an extra bivy or someone forgets theirs or whatever. Continuing in that sleeping system deal, uh, I have a bunch of mosquito netting. Not really sure how much I'm going to use this or need this or whatever. Uh, not because I'm, I don't think there'll be bugs, I'm sure there'll be a lot of bugs, but I have a spray treatment for my uniforms that I will use before I go uh, to make sure that they're bug proof and everything. So knowing that, uh, I don't know how often I'm going to use this mosquito netting, but in case I need it, I have it. Tarp, um, same thing, not 100% sure how often we're going to use this or need this, but if I want to put a tarp cover over me whenever when it's raining, uh, or under me to keep water out, I have that option. I have a bunch of camouflage paracord because that's important to have all the time. In here I have my heater cooking kit thing. So this is all a big waterproof bag. This is the fold out stove uh, from Dragon Fire, Dragon Fuel if you're not familiar with that, or Fire Dragon, something like that. Uh, but basically this is the British cook system. It has alcohol fuel cells that you put in here and light and then you can set this uh, like so and set the cup on top and then heat up whatever you want to heat up. I lighter it here, I lighter my kit and I also have a uh, ferro ferro rod, whatever it's called, that you strike and hit sparks. So I have plenty of ways to make fire and cook stuff. Again, not sure how much that will actually be used, but I have the option. Extra fuel cells if I need them. This is my toiletries bag. I don't have any of my toiletries in it right now because they're in my house and I use them. But this is where I'll put, you know, toothbrush, deodorant, moleskin, band-aids, you know, all my basic toiletries stuff. So I got a big thing of army green tape because sometimes you need to tape stuff and that's just important. I'm also going to add some athletic tape in here uh, for taping up my feet if I get a blister or something like that or a sprain or whatever. But I got a roll of black athletic tape that's going to go in here as well. Knee pads, uh, these are Condor knee pads. They're kind of the only army green ones I could find. I'm probably gonna bring my Blackhawk ones as well. Those are black, so they're not technically uh, in uniform. But I, these things might end up sucking. I've only worn them a little bit. As you can see, they're kind of scratched up. But they weren't the most comfortable, so I might see what else I can do in the knee pad department. I got a little headlamp here with uh, different lenses, but right now there's just the red lens in there because that's the one that you probably need the most. So this is my headlamp. I also have a little kind of key light that is a red light as well. I'll end up attaching this either to my gear somewhere uh, or I'll attach it to my pack so when I need to look in my pack or something, I can just use a little, little light if I need it. 
face paint uh, for when I want to get all camo and look cool uh, toward for the FX simulation at the end. Um, my daughter got into these, so they're kind of mauled right now. She thought they were chapstick. So we'll see how that turns out, and we'll see what I have left that's actually usable when I get there. Again, not that I don't think uh, I don't think I'm needed at all, but I do have a water filter in here. Uh, it's the Sawyer water filter. If you're familiar with that at all, I'm gonna bring it. Doubt I'm ever gonna need it. Uh, something else I just made a note for. I'm gonna need some notebooks and pens. I'm gonna carry the Write in the Rain notebook in my shoulder pocket, and then I'll have a larger like uh, English composition notebook that I have for taking notes in the official teaching sessions and stuff like that. I have an e-tool because it's on the list. I'm supposed to bring one. Bring that as well. Don't know how much digging will actually happen or not happen, but I have a need to. Bungee cords, because you gotta have those, so I got some camouflage bungee cords. Last but not least, I have some kind of other semi-random PPE stuff. So I have a pair of green shooting gloves. I have another pair of green shooting gloves in my webbing, but this is kind of my backup. I have a night watch cap in case, again, I get cold. Doubt I'm gonna need that, but hey, I also pack some uh, green long underwear and I have a green fleece that'll go in there as well. Again, just in case things get a little chilly. I have this green uh, schmog. Not sure how much I'm going to want it or need it or use it, but I'm going to pack it because hey, you never know. I also have this uh, reversible, it's woodland camo on one side, more of a olive drab green on the other side, kind of sniper veil netting thing. Uh, which I probably will use this and kind of wear this around my neck, stuff and down to my shirt. I can always hang it up to screen something or whatever, but I do plan on bringing this and, and utilizing that for additional camouflage as is needed. So that is it. That's all my stuff. Uh, just some things that I did note that I'm going to need that are going to go in here eventually are some baby wipes, uh, some Ziploc bags, like some large gallon size bags because you can never have enough of those. Some snips. Uh, I do have a pair of snips around here somewhere. Thought they were in here. Apparently they're not. That's why we do this, right? You gotta double check your gear. So I get a pair of green or a pair of snips as well. That's it. That's all I got for my gear that I'm bringing to One Shepherd. Uh, if you haven't looked into it or you don't know what it is, I would highly recommend you check it out. Uh, Brent 0031 or 0331, however you say that. Uh, has some excellent videos on One Shepherd, which I would highly recommend you check out if you're at all interested. And maybe I'll see you there sometime. Until then, do brave deeds and endure.